Now let's do some of the more advanced things. How you can automate your workflows using Stackby. So there are three ways where you can automate in Stackby. One is we have built native API connectors. These API connectors are linked to your column. Now let's look at one of the use case. If you're a YouTuber or a content creator on YouTube, where not only you are planning and managing and producing a lot of content and videos for your audience, but you also want to track how these videos are performing. Typically, a marketer would use three or four tools, a project management tool to manage their projects, a spreadsheet to track how their videos are performing, and some of the analytics tools from, you know, from YouTube, which gives you data in charts and graphs and all the fancy, you know, analytical layouts. What we have tried to do is consolidate all of these three tools in a single platform. So if you're doing video production planning, all you need to do is, let's just say, bring a video ID from YouTube. Let me just copy this video ID and add it here. And what I've done here is I've connected this to an API. So in this case, I've connected this to YouTube. So I can connect it to interesting, you know, marketing and sales APIs, whether it's Google Analytics, Facebook ads, Google ads, Twitter, Ahrefs, Instagram, LinkedIn, and I can bring great statistical information from these tools, not just statistical, statistical information, but rich information from, from these APIs. So in this case, I've connected to YouTube. I just have to connect and bring my API key. Either I bring an API key and add it to the account, or I can directly authenticate it. So it depends on the APIs that you want to connect. You can do it in these two ways. And I can select one of the service, whether I want to bring the video details or the channel details from YouTube. And I've selected an ID column to reference, which is the YouTube video ID. Now, based on this video ID, I want to bring the video details. So since I've already applied it, all I need to do is click on this refresh. So it automatically pulls in the rich information and how it does it. So if you click on the data, it opens like a data explorer where information from your API is automatically brought into that data explorer. So let's just say you have title, description. I can select the information that I'm really looking for from that API. I want to look at the tags as well and the duration of the video and the view count, like count and comment count. Since I've already added some of the information, let me only add the ones that I have not added. I'll just add the comment count, duration and the tags and I can create these columns. So let me remove the title and description as well. So once the columns are created, you will see that all your YouTube tags are added as a JSON data. I can open this and I can see how many tags have been added on a particular video, the duration of that video, the total comment count, and previously I already bought title, description, like, and the view count. So along with managing your video production, you can also do your video reporting in a single place. Now imagine a use case where you're managing your marketing KPIs. You're managing all your campaigns and projects and you want to see the outcome of those campaigns and projects. If you're running ads or if you're running a particular campaign that will drive more visitors to your website. So you can link it to the Google Analytics API. Or if you're running Facebook ads, you want to see how those campaigns are doing and bucket it into a particular ad set or an ad, I can even bring information at that level on each of the campaign ad set and ads from Facebook. If I want to bring the latest information, let me just pull the record right here, pull the column right here. I can hit refresh and it automatically changes in real time. What I can also do is I can schedule this API 
at a schedule. So I can create an automation where it, this runs every day or every three days at a particular time. And I can choose whether I want to make it run only for new rows. And I can schedule it. So once scheduled, your data is automatically presented in real time right into your tables. So this is one way you can bring data automatically in Stackby through these native API connectors. So we've added more than 50 API connectors and we continue to add more and find interesting use cases. And there are more than 125 different types of API functions across these 50 API connectors. So you can mix and match and see you know, what your workflows look like and what exactly are you trying to do with those workflows. Now, the second way of automating in Stackby is through Zapier. We all know Zapier is a no-code automation platform, which is a broker between two tools. So if you want to connect Stackby to endless applications, Google Sheets, Google Calendar, Calendly, MailChimp, you can do it via Zapier. So rather than us managing those individual integrations, we have integrated with Zapier, where you can connect Stackby to more than 5,000 plus services across the world. So if I want to look at, let's just say, I want to bring, rather than using Stackby forms, if I'm using Google forms, and I want to bring automatic responses right into Stackby, all I need to do is search Google forms, it's up here, search an app here, Stackby. So it works as if this and that. So what is a trigger and what is an action? So in Google Forms, the trigger is a new form response. And in Stackby, a trigger can be a create row. So basically what it does is it creates a new row in Stackby when a new form response is added to Google Forms. So I can easily configure this uh, through the API key in your account settings in Stackby. Add it to Zapier, map your data once, and just keep it on. So as soon as any new form response is submitted to your Google form, a new row is automatically created in Stackby where you can manage your data, organize it, and work with your team to get things done. The third way is a little for technical people. Stackby is open. Uh, Stackby has an open API, like a developer API, where you can basically use Stackby as a lightweight backend database and call the information via the developer API through the database. And you can use this API to connect to any of the custom tools and services that you're building internally. So you can, we already have like a Postman documentation where you can look at the developer API and it's based on RESTful. Uh, these are RESTful APIs. And you can basically create rows, delete rows, update rows, or retrieve a particular row or list rows from a particular table and show it to any of your application. Imagine you're building a custom mobile app or a custom web app, and you want to see, you want to bring the Stackby information onto those apps. You can use it via the Stackby developer API. So these, this is a second way you can do automations in Stackby. One is through the native API connectors, and second is through tools like Zapier. So not only Zapier, we've also integrated with make.com, Integrately, Pabli Connect, and there are various other platforms that are out there today that helps you automate your workflows. So Stackby is there on all those platforms.